Welcome back for many students. The senior year of high school is an exciting time for many. And if your high schooler is considering going on to college, the Jacksonville National College Fair is making it very easy to explore your options. Joining us now is Bernadette Hardeman Strong. She is with the Duval County Public Schools. It's good to see you. It's a good huge evening. event you guys are putting on at the Prime Osborne. Yes, we are excited. We're at about year 30 of the event. Um, and we are expecting to draw in another large crowd of thousands of families. And this is a great opportunity to come and see a lot of the major institutions inside the state and across the country, you say, in a one-stop shop. Yes, it's a great experience and an opportunity for our families. We have currently over 170 institutions signed up to participate, and it really is that one-stop shop to get our um, students uh, familiar with different institutions and really getting the process started early for seeking out information. So let's talk about some of the colleges that will be represented at the fair, and maybe some other interesting aspects to the fair, too, beyond just the schools, which is a big part. So really, um, one thing that we pride ourselves in with the NACAC fairs is that we have institutions from across the United States. So parents can definitely expect to um, have our major universities here in Florida um, at the fair, the University of Florida, Florida State University, University of Central Florida, USF, and the list goes on with our, um, lo our state um, universities, even our local institutions, Jacksonville University, the University of Florida, Florida State College at Jacksonville, and then really we have institutions represented from different states across the United States and even an institution coming from the Caribbean. Yeah, I heard you say Vanderbilt's coming, University of Alabama. I mean, it's really one, and, and you say this is a good opportunity to be able to do your research online and then come in with specific questions that you have for these institutions. Absolutely, so students will have an opportunity to meet with the, uh, the fair representatives, um, really getting a personalized experience and opportunity to maybe go deeper into some of the information that isn't as easily accessible online, or really ask those burning questions that they have as they're narrowing, narrowing down that college um, choice. What advice do you have in your experience uh, for what they should expect or even just like the the process of applying for college? What advice do you have to parents or students who might be watching? So one thing that we always try to remind our families of is it is never too early to begin thinking about college. Um, so while we do have um, many high school students who attend our fair, we do encourage our middle school families to come out as well. Um, we have a variety of workshops that we offer at the fair, including a special session designed specifically for our students in middle school. Um, so we do encourage families to start that process early. Um, know that the fair is open to um, all of our students in Duval County, the surrounding areas. It really is a community-wide event. And there are workshops there as well, right? In addition to, is there like a schedule of events for people to kind of see how things are gonna be laid out? Yes, there is a schedule of events. We have a variety of different workshops that are again, all designed around planning for college. Um, we have different topics um, for those workshops, um, financial aid, bright futures, the nuts and bolts of the college planning process. Um, like I said, again, that session for middle school students. Um, we even have, uh, this is our second year offering what we call the FAFSA lab. So families can actually come to the fair and they'll have an opportunity to complete their federal financial aid application right there at the fair and receive assistance and support in doing so. In our waning 30 seconds, give people kind of the nuts and bolts again of when, where, what do they need, cost, the whole nine yards. So again, most important thing, the event is free and open to the public, mm -hmm. um, taking place on Saturday, October 14th at the Prime Osborne Convention Center from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. Good deal. Well, thanks to see you. So, so good of you to take the time to come in. A great event, 30 years running. Yes, thank you for having me. Appreciate it.